Hey guys, so I'm in the back of my Maverick again, and I got a new product to try today. And what I have right here is the factory spray-on bed liner. It, it actually works great. Um, I, have, I don't really have any complaints about it or anything like that, but I do want to try a new product, uh, especially for people that did not opt for the spray-on bed liner or the plastic bed liner. This might be a option for you, so I'm going to check it out. What it is is this fly, fly motor custom Matt, I'll leave a link in the description for you. But, but this is what it looks like, and it looks like it might be a really good, uh, inexpensive solution if you do uh, want to line the truck of your bed and you did not get the spray on bed liner or the plastic liner. Let's give it a shot. Okay, there's some instructions. And it says it, it might have some creases in it the way it was packaged, so you could use a hair dryer to kind of even it out. Um, it looks like some Velcro that you could use to hold it in place, but I'm not going to use that, at least not for now. Instructions does say that after you install it to use a, a hair dryer to kind of flatten everything out. So well, let's try that. But let's take a look at it right now. So just looking at it right now without using the hair dryer or anything, I, I think it actually looks pretty good already. It seems to fit pretty darn well. And, you know, like I said, if you're looking for a solution that's not permanent or semi-permanent, uh, this might be the option for you. So let's Let's see if we hair dry it, if it will flatten out a little bit more. I don't have a hair dryer in my garage, but I do keep a heat gun. All right, I, I don't really have the patience to do this for too long, but uh, I think if you work at it, you can get it to mold a little bit better. But I think with the just the heat of the sun and with time, I think it'll settle. But honestly, even if it doesn't really settle much more, I think the fit is still pretty good. So, you know, this actually is a pretty viable option if you don't have a bed liner of any kind, whether st spray on or plastic, that uh, you could just buy one of these and get some protection on your paint. Let's see how well it closes. All right, no issues when it closes. That's the way it looks. I think it looks pretty good. Again, I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in this lower, lower cost option for people that don't have a bed liner. And for sure, if you want to have it as a more semi-permanent solution that fits a little bit better, you know, you definitely use these Velcro double-sided tapes. But for me, I think I'm just going to allow myself the option of taking it in and out easily. <laughs> 